in the studio right now, Senator Ron Wyden. And, Senator, I want to get your reaction first. It came as a surprise to many the day right after the election, the president fires Sessions. What went through your mind when he did that? For Donald Trump to railroad Jeff Sessions into resigning must indicate that he is just terrified about what Bob Mueller has found in his investigation. And I definitely think Mr. Whitaker has got to recuse himself. You just ran this clip Good that afternoon. indicates that he thought a long time ago about a game plan for starving the Mueller investigation and keeping it from really doing its work by the book. Can the White House, in fact, scuttle that investigation? They were talking about just getting rid of all of the funding to do that. Would the president fire Mueller? I mean, how would you go about doing that if you were the president of the White House? Again, you have to look at the record. I mean, think about what uh, the president told Lester Holt, for example, with respect to Comey. So he very often sends these messages that basically the laws that apply to everybody else don't apply to him. What will the Senate do if the Mueller investigation is scuttled, if acting Attorney General Whitaker does something to scuttle the investigation? Will your Republican colleagues join Democrat colleagues? There seems to be silence from Republicans on the firing of Sessions. Well, first of all, the next big step will be at the beginning of next week. We will have a bipartisan bill. Jeff Flake, Republican of Arizona, Chris Coons, Democrat of Delaware, will bring to the floor, and I will be strongly in support of it, efforts to support Bob Mueller and his work. So this isn't going to go more than a few days uh, until Republicans are really going to have to stand up and be counted. We hear that Mueller is in the final stages Mm -hmm. of writing his final report. Those are just sources saying that. Have you heard anything about that? I'm on the Intelligence Committee. We obviously have a different job, but I've led the effort on what are called the the follow-the-money issues on the Intelligence Committee. That's what Bob Mueller has focused on in his investigation. But what I will tell you is the history of his work, and I've had plenty of disagreements over the years with Mr. Mueller, for example, on strong encryption, which I think is really important for security. He does everything by the book. He's objective. He's a professional. Uh, This is not somebody who's doing a bunch of press conferences, and he ought to be allowed to continue to bring his objectivity to this. I want to ask quickly, too, about the balance of power that we saw after Tuesday. Democrats now control the House. What is going to happen in the start of the new year? Will there be more investigations, or will you guys be working together to pass laws? Oregon sent a very powerful message last Tuesday that um, we're going to have push checks and balances on the excesses and abuses of the Trump administration. We are not going to sit around, for example, let the Trump administration roll back protections for those with pre-existing uh, health, uh, health conditions. And my sense is the House is going to continue that kind of Oregon way focus, to have real checks and balances on the administration. By the way, just um, in the last few hours, two of our uh, important races. Bill Nelson has picked up a lot of ground in Florida. Kristen Cinema has picked up ground in Arizona. Um, we're very hopeful that those two, when the ballots are counted, uh, Bill Nelson will be back in, uh, in the Senate in uh, January, member of our committee, the Finance Committee, and Kristen Cinema will be the new senator from Arizona. Yeah, election's still not over in right. different parts of the country. That's for sure. Senator Ron White, thank you for stopping thank by. Thank you for thank having me.